today because students, parents, educational organisations, trade unions are coming together because we believe that education is a public good and it should be publicly funded. We don't believe that students and young people should be burdened with a lifetime of debt with an income contingent loan scheme with fees. We already have the second highest fees in Europe. We don't understand why the government are talking about making them higher and we believe and we are calling on the government to make a fairly historic decision to make education publicly funded. We want the government to take option one now, as was outlined in the Cassell's report. There were three options in the Cassell's report and the media and the discourse seems to have forgotten that publicly funded was option number one listed in the Cassell's report. And the only problem that was listed with it is that it was too ambitious. I mean, how have we gone to the state uh, as a country, as a nation, where we think funding education is too ambitious? We won't do that. It's achieving too much. It's reaching too far. Those stars are too far away. Let's not do it. That's madness. We should be ambitious about our education. Uh, the Minister for Education has put forward an ambitious plan for making Ireland one of the best uh, countries to be educated in in the next 20 years. So how about we be ambitious? about how we're going to fund it. Obviously we're not only going to speak with our feet today, that's only just one part of what we're doing. Uh, students all around the country are signing up to the campaign overall. So things like meeting with their local TDs and putting the student voice out there. When this debate is being had, what is woefully neglected is the student voice and the parents of those who are going to be impacted by how higher education is going to be funded. And that's what we're aiming to do over the next couple of months, is to get students and to get parents talking about how they don't want their children to be burdened with debt in their futures. And young people talk about how a lifetime of debt is not something that they want, it's not something that's sustainable. So we're taking it from uh, going out in the streets today and rabble rousing to getting into constituency offices, to sending emails and talking to our public representatives who we elected to speak on our behalf. And we want them to listen to our concerns about how education is going to be funded and listen to how we want it to be funded, which is through the public taxation system. Um, and I think it's, you know, it is a thing that there's lots of big people who are talking about how it should be funded and pushing for loans and pushing for this, that and the other. And what we really want uh, TDs to do is listen to their constituents, not to listen to businesses, not to listen to other people, but to listen to their constituents, to listen to the, the children, to the parents, to the farmers, to the, the workers, the squeeze middle about how loans are going to affect them and their children's lives. Uh, education affects everyone. Um, everyone should have access to education, primary, secondary and territory. It was a historic decision in the 70s when they made second level education publicly funded because they knew that's what people needed as a social mobility and to progress and to be able to get jobs. And we're now in that situation now. People need to be able to access education if they want to access education and no one should be locked out. Everyone has people who knows people in their families, their friends, who want to go on to third level and simply can't. So this affects everyone in society. A well-educated workforce, a well-funded education system is of benefit to everyone in society. The student, student fees is, is, is the big problem that uh, faces um, students right across the country and I think that what we have to do, we have to bite the bullet and we have to say that third level education has to be free for everybody. That's the only way that a, a progressive education system can operate and we have to break the link between big business and education across the country. I'd like to be here supporting the USA. I think uh, in fairness an awful lot of research has been done in relation to why uh, the loan scheme would be extremely bad for investment in third level education and also discourage uh, students from lower income backgrounds at the white third level and uh, ultimately is unsustainable. <laughs> I don't think I need to speak uh, loads about the issue because it's so blatant. 
Education is a human right. It's that simple. And one of the great things about Ireland is that, in general, we've always had kind of free access to education. That's one of the things that makes the country brilliant. So let's not turn into the other countries. Let's not turn into the US, turn into Britain. Let's not create education in lines that are defined by class and how much money you have. The other thing, how can the government on one hand try and promote people becoming entrepreneurs and then expect you to become an entrepreneur or to take any risk if you leave college with 20 grand in debt? It doesn't work like that. I'm standing up here, reading my notes on my iPhone, and I'm thinking to myself, is there any way we could get 13 billion to solve this problem anywhere? Is that lying around anywhere, is it? But seriously, they need to fucking fund it. It's as simple as that. And the thing is, we're living in a country, right, where there's 10 people dying a day by suicide, most of them young people. And they've got the audacity to add another series of problems onto that situation already. So everybody here, each one of you represents one vote. So let them know that you're not going to fucking vote for them if they try and get this through. And the current shower of lads that are up there at the moment, they're so kind of uh, disengaged with each other that they're just panderers anyway. So let them pander and let them hear your voice. It's not acceptable. No fucking fees. So, gonna bring on the last speaker, gonna bring on Annie Hui, who is the president. Is that her name wrong, is it? Annie Hui, is it? Yes. <laughs> she's the president of the Union of Students in Ireland, and uh, she's gonna say a few words. Go! Sure.